Hi, I'm Liz, an HP Certified Technician. Today we're gonna to go over how to upgrade a solid state drive on an HP laptop. I'm working today on HP Elite Book 640G9. Uh, uh, we have a review on our Amazon uh, in the link down below if you wanna know more about this laptop. But what we're gonna to do today will work on any HP laptop that has a solid state drive M.2 uh, slot. So. I've already removed and loosened all the screws. The next thing you wanna do is you make sure that it's unplugged, of course, but a lot of detail that people miss is they don't um, unplug the battery, which you don't want any power going into your laptop when you're working on it. That's how you can fry it. Okay, so as you can see, I have it all unplugged, disengaged. Okay, so here's the solid state drive right here. I'm going to use this screwdriver. Sometimes people wanna know what I'm using, this is what I'm using. There's a link in the description if you wanna see it for yourself. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just unscrew, like so. Now, sometimes people wonder, yeah, but how do I know what to replace? You know, I think I have this, I think I have a certain kind of drive, but I'm not really sure. Well, what you can always do is when you pull it up, look and examine uh, and look up what the this particular model is like this is a WD and then uh, This is by WD and then it has a little part number number the kind the model and then I could look this up and see What kind of port this is or for example, this is an HB HP has a great support page You can go on and see what kind of specs you need for your solid-state drive uh, but as you can see this is just a standard uh, M.2 so this is really easy, but um yeah, so then I would take my new solid state drive and then you wanna gently, making sure not to touch any of the parts surrounding it because the oils on your hand can cause damage. You don't wanna cause connections and things that weren't supposed to be there. So you really, your aim is to just touch the solid state drive and to touch it on the edges. And then you go ahead and you gently put it back in and set it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that screw Always make sure you know where you put your screw because otherwise, you know, it can cause a problem. And as a side note, if you want to magnetize your screwdriver, you leave it on a strong magnet for 20 to 30 minutes and then you don't have to worry about dropping it. So that's what I like to do. And then I'm going to go ahead like so. And just like that. Now I'm going to plug my battery in. I'm going to put the case back together and I'm going to start it up. And keep in mind, once you replace your solid state drive, your data, your original data will not be there because it will be on the old drive and you will need to reinstall Windows. So we also have some links on some videos on how to reinstall Windows 10 and Windows 11 in the description down below. If you have any questions about upgrades and how to go about doing them, I'm not sure what solid state drive to get, leave, leave it in the uh, comments down below and one of our technicians will get back to you. But anyway, this from one tech, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.